so Princess Sophia was the great granddaughter, sorry, the granddaughter of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Mm-hmm. She, she was born in the UK. Um, her father was Maharaja Dilip Singh, who was brought over to the UK as a child. Um, and he got married here in the UK and she was born here. Um, a little bit about her is, so she was involved heavily in the suffragette movement. She was also um, the goddaughter of Queen Victoria as well. Um, so she was heavily involved with the monarchy um, at the time as well. Yeah, she had a very close relationship with Queen Victoria, um, even after her father died and he'd kind of, his relationship with the British had broken down to an extent. Um, Queen Victoria still looked after Sophia and made provisions for her to live here in the UK, which you know, shows that she still had a bit of a soft spot for her. Um, so Princess Sophia was closely aligned with Emmeline Pankhurst, who I'm sure most people have heard of when they hear of the suffragette movement. Um, she was involved in many of the major campaigns and, of course, her social standing as um, a member of the royal family kind of gave her that kind of political power that really helped drive forward the suffragette movement. And she was also involved in the Black Friday movement and was one of those that was arrested and um, also very notably was one of the few women of colour that was involved in the suffragette movement here in the UK. The whole idea was to actually digitise a number of key objects related to Sophia, make them accessible through 3D modelling, so to speak, and then have them presentable which eventually there will be in an online seat museum. And this in particular is like a headpiece which actually belonged to Sophia Dilip Singh. So what we can do is once we've actually modelled objects, we can actually present them on touch screens, for instance, and also you can present them onto websites as well. And eventually what we will be doing is all these objects will be going to an online museum which will be able to be accessed through virtual reality, so those headsets that you normally see around in this day and age. With our technology now, we can actually recreate them. In fact, we can even create destroyed heritage as well. So what that actually does, it allows people to see things they may never have been ever possibly to be able to be seen. So this is a very interesting stamp commemorating um, Princess Sophia de Leap Singh. Uh, it's taken outside of Hampton Court Palace where she is actually selling the suffragette magazine. Now, this would have been considered uh, a scandal in its time for someone of the royal family to be selling uh, a magazine like this and actually using their influence uh, as the goddaughter of Queen Victoria to really push the movement of women's rights. And I think the stamp itself has really immortalised her contribution, uh, not only as a woman, but a woman of colour from an ethnic background, um, and how she also participated Participated alongside some of the most senior uh, members of the suffragette movement, like Amelia Pankhurst, in pushing for the right for women to have votes. Um, she often went back to India, and it said that during those visits, she really became inspired with the idea of liberation and justice for all. And there's... Um, she was a woman of colour, she was British, she resonated a lot with against the of the panel. Um, Grenache, she kind of seemed even though she wasn't necessarily brought up in it, and I think that's pretty inspiring.